The following Cooking with Carter episode is sponsored by Mitts of Virginia. In just a little bit, we're going to explain what Mitts of Virginia is and does later on in the show. We'd like to take a minute to thank Mitts for all the work they've done in sponsoring Season 4 of Cooking with Carter. Welcome to Season 4, Episode 5 of Cooking with Carter. Today's episode is sponsored by Mitts of Virginia. Later on in the show, we're going to have a video that explains what Mitts is and does. Happy to have everybody with us. This is my wife, Emily. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do two different types of milkshakes. We're going to do a strawberry butterscotch, or excuse me, strawberry chocolate and a banana peanut butter butterscotch milkshake. Very quick, very simple. That's not a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. What I've got, I want to go ahead and go over just a couple of ingredients that I've got out. I've got fresh strawberries. Just got these today. I have smooth peanut butter. I have butterscotch sauce, and I have hot fudge chocolate syrup. Okay? And I also have <clears throat> bananas and chocolate ice cream. And milk. So we have quite a lot of fattening ingredients, and it's going to be good, and I don't care what people say because I like fat stuff. We're allowed to have cheat days, people. That's right. All right. So what we're going to do first is I have some strawberries here that I've already started sectioning out and cutting down. Emily's done some as well, but I want to show how I'm going to do this. Okay, what you want to do, all of this is going to go into a uh, the ninja system, so it's it. you just want to cut them down first. You're going to cut off the top just like that okay then you're gonna go down the middle just like that very simple and you want your strawberries to be kind of firm and you can tell that's when they're the freshest with their mushy they've been sitting there too long get different ones okay so you're just gonna cut off the top just like that and go down the middle just like that all right you can throw away the tops. Let Emily cut her last little top there. You don't have to make them super small, babe. They're going in the blender. Oh, that's just my technique. Okay, here's the other two tops. Now, here's the simple part of how to do this. We can put the knives away so we don't cut ourselves and have an accidental show. Yeah, please don't. No fingers in the blender. All right, so what we're going to do, Max cannot have a uh, banana. It is a, there's a condition uh, that, I believe you said it, it messes with your chest or your heart or something like that? Yes, it's, it virtually simulates a heart attack for me. All right, so we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop these. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you dropped it. Uh, You're dropped. dropping it like it's hot. Hey, all right, and it's cold. There we go. Strawberries going in the blender. Now, I've cut up uh, about uh, 8 to 10 strawberries here all together between the two of us now this you kind of have to judge on because you really have to watch how much is going in okay all right so we well that and you want the taste to come out smooth so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour in some milk okay now i use two percent milk i don't use whole because honestly i can't drink it right there okay that's good and that is honestly about maybe a cup and a half okay a little possibly a little over all right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take the like a strawberry usually. little bit of peanut butter in here and you really want to be careful with this because this peanut butter can overpower so I am going to hold the spoon and I'm going to get about that much right there, a little over a spoonful. Just drop it in there very carefully, like that. Okay? Leave the spoon and the peanut butter for now. All right, Max, grab us uh, about four scoops of the chocolate ice cream. Our chocolate ice cream has been sitting out for just a little bit. So it's going to be kind of messy, so we got to be kind of careful. If anyone is super diligent, you might notice that episode 4 and episode 5, uh, the Carters are wearing the same clothes. Yep. 
So, Same episode in one day, and I forgot to mention that we were doing it together, so I did it as a separate one. So, wow. Um, <laughs> the ice cream is just a little bit goopy. So, hopefully I don't make a mess. Any, oh, more, so let's pour any more than what it's you doing already. pour it over there? And okay. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 oh, yeah. There it is. Nice. <laughs> nice. Careful, careful. Don't let it come out of the thing. Can't see. Right, now, now, now you can actually, I think, scrape it in there. Just scrape some in there. Yeah, it should be. I wanted to get it up, up from around the... Yeah, okay. okay so. All right. One. This is like good kind of ice cream, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Food lining's good. And there's a brand other brands. Yeah, other like, brands and companies are be, available. But it is not. It is not from there. I just uh, thought it was. <laughs> The brands are always available, and we love them all. <laughs> yep, at your local grocer. All right, and we'll be nice, and we'll do one more. Okay, we'll make it a nice, healthy, nice, nice healthy, <laughs> a nice healthy, a nice fatty. healthy fiver. <laughs> yeah. Make it the biggest one I have. Yeah, there we go. Why not? All right. Please don't sue me. Uh, <laughs> we're not making any money, so they can't sue you. All right, so there we go. Now, Sadly, Ron. All yeah. right. Now. But y'all can help. We are going to. We've got butterscotch topping. Oh, you do that. I'm going to try to fix the mess I'm making. Butterscotch. Right. And you can be kind of generous. Just do 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 And that's about, um, about three tablespoons right there. Okay. It makes a good decoration on top. All right. Now, what we're going to do... Okay, and we're also going to add just a squirt of chocolate topping. Chocolate fudge. If you have diabetes, it's not good. Mm -mm. That's about a spoon because we've already got a lot of chocolate in there. Yeah. So I don't want to mask that butterscotch flavor. Okay, now, what we're going to do is not put the peanut butter on top of the, <laughs> <laughs> the blender like I was going to do, but we're going to put the top one that actually goes on there. And check Max out. There he goes. Putting the top on like a man puts a top on. There well, we go. I put it on any other way, we'd have issues. All right. Do we have the Ninja plugged in? Uh, we will uh, soon. All right. We'll soon. All we'll right. Shortly. Can I push it? And I'll let you do it on the second one. How about that? All right. Now, the way to do this, start it out regularly. Chocolate butterscotch milkshake right there. Okay. It's made about three cups. Yep. And you, you want to wash, and it all depends on how much milk you're using, how big a pitcher you want. I'm making two milkshakes, so I'm making them small. Max, if you want to grab a cup up there, you can get you a cup and actually have a little bit of this tasty goodness. If anyone's like me and has an issue with textures, I would just like it if you did that a little longer. Well, you can do that too. Yeah, it does. Yes, no. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. That's what I was going to ask you. I, I, I asked her if this was okay. Yeah. And, and he said yeah. no. Yeah, this is not an outtakes episode. Sorry. Not yet. All right. There's so always time. Can we sit down in the sink, brother? Just give that a quick, maybe give that a quick rinse. Hold. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. I will do the... Blades. Let's just uh, do that. Yeah, because we're going to reuse them, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Okay. Now, go ahead and pour that in there, buddy. I'll just try a little bit and see how you like it. Now, it's going to be kind of thick, and that's kind of what you want. All right. Now, see if you can taste the strawberry and the chocolate.
Is it? That's it. Taste mostly chocolate, or you taste any strawberry at all? I taste peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, and you want you don't want the peanut butter to shine over everything. It doesn't smell too great, but it tastes Ooh. good. But uh, yes, it's all right. All right. So we'll be back in just a minute, and we'll make our second milkshake. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As I said earlier, we're going to talk just a little bit about our sponsor for Season 4 for Cooking with Carter. I'm with Richard Baldwin of MITS of Virginia. Richard? DJ, thank you. I am with MITS of Virginia, and we are proud to be a sponsor for this season's Cooking with Carter. MITS of Virginia has been in the mobility business for over 16 years now, and we've been supplying individuals with solutions to their mobility challenges, be it bands, home modifications, DME equipment, or just a listening ear if you have a question. Feel free to give us a call, 1-800-420-6470. You can see us on Facebook. We also are linked to the Cooking with Carter site and our website www.mitsofva.com. DJ? Well, I tell you what, he said it all. As you see the poster here, this gives you just a little bit about what MITS is and does. I know this man personally. He's a great friend and now a great sponsor and partner of Cooking with Carter. We are very thankful to Mints of Virginia and the staff at Mints of Virginia for all of their help. And as we say every time on Cooking with Carter, the meals we make are worth the wait. We'll see you next time. So, what we've got <clears throat> is a couple of ingredients here. Two ice cream sandwiches, some peanut butter, some milk, some bananas, some chocolate syrup, and a big old fancy smancy ninja blender. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do, as many times as I clear my throat, I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm dying! Yes. Cooking with quarters now canceled. Oh, no. <laughs> And Max is jumping for joy. Okay. Someone can finally unchain me from the camera. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we want to do first is break these up in the blender. Oh, wow. Like in half because that's what y I did. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, just kind of, <laughs> it's just it's kind, of, <laughs> kind of stuck there. It's like when you play basketball and it just hits the rim and sticks there. Yep. All right. The reason I'm using the ice cream sandwiches is for crunch and for texture. Okay, so we have that in there, and I am not wearing my cooking vest. I am sorry. I usually do. It's but a little warm in the kitchen today, and he needed to breathe. Yep. And I can't in that vest because it's too tight. So I'm ordering another one. It's better looking. It's going to do. Wonders for me. Okay, so now we're going to get a generous glob scoop slash section of peanut butter there. And we'll get <clears throat> another one right in there like that. Come on, come on. If anyone knows Morse code, and if it, if our if our host is doing anything in Morse code, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, please. <laughs> I would <laughs> love to know what this tapping means. There we go. I can go back in there. Go away. Okay. I'm actually going to only use one banana. I was going to use two, but I'm not making milkshakes for everybody. So, now. A lot of people have trouble with CP getting a banana to open, okay? And what's happening here, you, you want to hear that pop. That's what you want. That snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, when, you, when that pop happens, you can actually peel it back. Okay, there you go. And then you just open it like that. Open it like that. Nice banana off there. Break. Break. And drop. All right. Wipe the peanut butter off my finger before I get it all over myself. And glasses and a table. <laughs> and sticky everywhere. Whoops. 
Okay, now hopefully this will no be one a noticed that. great thing with Carter Mullet. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's watch our host when he does this. Let's see here. Hey, 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 hey. It's uh, good. All right. Two points. <clears throat> Behind the trash can. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I thought you're laughs> well, from my angle, it looked good. You all could right. have just rolled with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Like a big wheel. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We really have fun on this show, but when we do, it's mm. hilarious. Okay, a couple spoonfuls of Hershey syrup there. Sorry for the brand name. That's all right. Don't sue us. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and use all of this milk. Okay. Now, the trick to making this, as creamy as it is, is you want as much milk as you have ingredients. So we want just a tad bit more. Luckily, we, we came prepared. Mm-hmm. We got There's two milks. Milk <clears throat> now, here's a tip with milk while Max is pouring some of that in. I'll tell you when to stop. And... No one noticed all the milk I spilled. Come on over, come on over, come on over, right there. Okay. All right, here's a towel to... That's why I gave it cover. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. jeez. There's that one. Hey, he made it in the trash can. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell by the... The da 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 No, no, he's da 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 All right. <clears throat> here's a tip with your milk, just to let you know. A lot of times, I will freeze milk, because uh, it'll last long, um, way past the expiration date. When you get a <clears throat> container of milk, a carton or a bottle, uh, pour just enough out to where <clears throat> the milk can move around. Go ahead and screw the top back on, put it in the freezer. When you do that, the bottom of your milk can and the bottom of your milk container will not deform. Okay? Alright, so we're gonna put the ninja top back on. And by deform he means like round out. Because yeah, that yeah. happens multiple times in this house. Yep, and you can't sit it flat. So here we go. Simple as that. That's done. Now, uh, Max cannot have bananas um, because there is a condition that it does to his chest. It's not very safe. Uh, he can. I don't know if he can eat uh, things with bananas in them. He is going I to can try eat banana flavor, <clears throat> but I don't know if I can physically eat something with a ban physical banana inside of it. Okay, so he's going to be a tr test. Very, very, very try very little. I'm going to pull your thing. Yeah, just uh, don't give me the whole, just give me like a, you want a half? half, yeah, because we're getting ready to, okay. we have a game night with uh, the family tonight, and we're preparing a food tray and some other things, kind of visit with some friends and family and play Cards Against Humanity, yeah, that's how we do it. That's also brand new. Oh, well, you know, what, that's okay, we're not making any money, and, no, we're not, uh, not yet, though, luckily we're I have a job, on. though, so that's what's left. Oh, uh, yeah, mm, nice and creamy. There we go. Oh, that's not even half. There, there, there we go. There we go. All right, you want to try a little bit first? I will try. On this one. You can probably smell the banana over top of everything else. That's pretty good. Pretty dang good. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? You taste the banana overall? I don't know. It's weird. I, I, it's been so long since I've had actual bananas. I don't remember what they taste like. To be honest. Um, it tastes, I taste most of the peanut butter and the, uh, and the ice cream. Oh, yeah. That is, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Man, there's a hint of banana in there. It's right at the back end. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, overpower everything. If I would have used two bananas, no, it would have, it would have, it, it, it would have been banana and nothing else. It would have been banana extravaganza. Yeah, banana, banana, banana. All right, so... <clears throat> ba -da -da! Anyway, uh, I really enjoy doing this. want to take a minute and just thank everybody for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. I can talk. I can speak. Yay! <laughs> I told you, we have fun on this show. Sometimes a little too much. Yeah. 
All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of Cooking with Carter. Again, thank you, Mitz, for all your wonderful work and our sponsorship. And as we say every time on Cooking with Carter, the meals we make are worth the wait. We'll see you next time.